what is the sum of the solutions to the given equation. So we're given this equation right here, and we need to find the solutions for x and add them together. So the first thing we can do is move this 45 to the other side of the equation by subtracting it from both sides. So on the left, 45 minus 45 will just be 0. So we'll just be left with x minus 9, the absolute value of that. And on the right, we'll be left with 63 minus 45, which is just equal to 18. OK, so now we have the absolute value on one side and the constants on the other. We can split this absolute value into two equations. So the first one will be x minus 9 equals 18, and the second one will be x minus 9 equals negative 18, because the output of an absolute value is always the positive value or the absolute value of it. Then this is basically saying that whatever is inside, the same solution can either be positive or negative. So that's why we have the positive 18 and the negative 18. So if we solve this, we can just add 9 to both sides. So we'll be left with x equals 27. And here we add 9 to both sides again. And we'll be left with x equals negative 9. So these are the two solutions. And we can quickly check them in the absolute by putting them in here. So 27 minus 9, that's equal to 18. And the absolute value of 18 is just 18. So 18 equals 18, and the equation is satisfied. And if you plug in the x value of negative 9, we'll have negative 9 minus 9, which is just equal to negative 18. And the absolute value of negative 18 is positive 18, which satisfies this equation again. So both of these are solutions to the equation. And when we add them together, 27 minus 9, we get 18. So the sum of the solutions is 18.